Hello all and welcome to another Gavin, another Gavin Entertainment video. It's Art here with the March uh, 4th through March 9th cu currently reading update slash what am I playing update and your video schedule for for the week. It's the first CRU of March Madness. We're going to have plenty, plenty more, but what did I read this week? What am I reading this week? What am I playing this week? And what is your video schedule for the week? That is what you're coming for, so let's dive right into it so I don't stumble over the intro any more than I already have. <laughs> I read a whopping one book this week um, so far. I'm going to be actually two, uh, maybe even three. We'll get into what it could be here. Uh but here's what I read this week. I did finish um, Castle Shade, the latest novel in the Mary Russell Sherlock Holmes not series by Laurie R. King. And I'm, so that's the one I for sure finished. I am still reading, reading and listening to The White Lioness. And after that, I'll be reading and listening to The Man Who Smiled. Those two books you know are on the March monthly reading roadmap. In matter of fact, all the books I'm about to mention are on the March monthly reading roadmap for March Mystery Madness, which its theme is two by two. So what else am I reading? I am also reading Lost Coast Literary. There's no picture for that one uh, because it's a net galley, e galley from Random House Publishing by, um, or no, I think it's Kingston Publishing, by uh, Ellie Alexander. And I'm reading Unsub by Meg Gardner, which is also on the March Mystery Madness monthly reading roadmap. So I'm listening to the man who's smart, or the white lion, listening and reading the white lioness, Reading Unsub, reading Lost Coast Literary. Those are the ones I decided to start with. It once I finish those off, I will move into Nothing Ventured by Jeffrey Archer, as I've been dying to read that. Once I finish off the Henning Minkle books, then I'm going to go into the Louise Louise Penny set. Re refer to the Mar March monthly reading roadmap for those. Um, Still Life and Dead Cold, I think it is. But uh, referred to that one for that. So that's what I'm reading this week. Your video schedule for the week is a loose video schedule. Either Monday or Wednesday, you're going to get the review for 61 Hours by Lee Child, the, the 14th Jack Reacher novel. Or, or you're going to get either the best British mysteries that I like list or you're gonna get my first thoughts on Elden Ring so you I know you're getting the 61 hour review either on Monday or Wednesday but you're gonna be getting either the Elden Ring first thoughts or the top British mystery books do not worry because you're going to be getting all three of those videos it just depends on if you're going to get one this week and are the two this week and then one next week it just depends on how I finagle that and how we go with that um so what am I playing this week well here we go because on the Nintendo Switch I am still playing Act Razor Renaissance loving that enjoying that loving the nostalgia feels on that but I'm also playing Triangle Strategy that came out this week. That is the new one that popped on the Switch this week that I am totally getting. And I am totally playing, as of you seeing this, I am playing that. And I'm still playing Disguise 6, Defiance of Destiny. Loving my technical turn-based strategy of that and the comedy in that. Even though it triangle strategy is technical turn-based as well, I'm loving the fact that I have two technical turn-based strategy games on the Switch that I am playing that are exclusive right now to the Switch. 
And then I'm playing Mario Golf Super Rush. Loving the pick up and play nature of that round of golf here, round of golf there. You guys know the drill. That's what I do. So what am I playing on the Xbox Series X? On the Xbox Series X, I'm playing the usual suspects on there. With my friends, I'm playing Back for Blood. Almost done with the campaign. If we can ever finish that last level that is hard, harder than it needs to be, then that'll be done. And another game will be slotted into that slot. But I'm also playing the Halo Infinite campaign. Loving that, enjoying that, taking my time with that because we don't know when we're gonna when we're gonna get more campaign stuff for Halo. So I'm just enjoying that, taking my time with that. Then I'm playing Yakuza like a dragon, really making good progress in that, enjoying the heck out of that, trying to play through that so I can once again play through it on the PS5 and then play Lost Judgment as well at some point this summer. And then I'm playing Final Fantasy XIII, still loving the slow-paced nature of that, still haven't gotten the open world part of that, but I am on, I believe, chapter 7 or 8 now, I want to say. Um, loving and enjoying that. So what am I playing on the PS5? Well, on the PS5, I'm playing the Stalwart, live, eat, breathe, uh, play the show, the final ending of MLB 21, the show. I'll be playing that all the way up until MLB 22 comes out. You know how this goes every year. But I'm also playing Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. Kind of slowly, kind of slow paced. But the game, the games that are really taking up my time besides baseball are these next two. Which is uh, from software's Elden Ring. I am loving that. I'm diving into that. I'm enjoying that. Yes, I die a lot. Yes, it's get good territory, but I love that game and I love uh, that series uh, of games, the, the the Souls-esque games. And of course, I'm playing Gran Turismo 7. I love me some Gran Turismo. It's already installed on the system. I'm just waiting for it to unlock because uh, I'm I'm filming this before it actually unlocks, but by, by the time you guys see it, it will have unlocked, and that's what I will be playing. And you'll be getting first impressions of that one as well as well as first impressions of and reviews of Elden Ring, Gran Turismo 7, and Triangle Strategy. Every new game I get, every book I read, you guys get reviews. You know how this goes. Every show I watch, you guys get reviews. That's how this goes. But leave in the comments down below what you're reading for March Mystery Madness and how you are enjoying your March Mystery Madness. I'm loving it. Uh, I'm reading a lot more because it's March Mystery Madness Month. And for a guy that read a lot anyway, to read a lot more is excellent. But without further ado, I want you to stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. Because you know I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at 12.30 p.m. Central. 10.30 in Pacific, 1.30 p.m. Eastern. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more. Please ding the notification bell to be notified when I upload a video. And without further ado, I'll see you again soon. Happy reading for March Mr. Madness. Happy gaming for those that are getting new games. And I'll see you again soon. And peace.